All right, so I'm going to teach you all how to make drawables. Uh, I just got a request for this, so this is what I'm going to be showing you how to do. Um, first off, your sprite, you got to make sure that, uh, that was the wrong thing. You got to make sure that the background is transparent, so go ahead and do that uh, if it's not already. Go ahead and save that. Um, now open up your drawables generator. Just drag it in, position it however you want. Uh, that looks about good, I think. Yeah, alright. Then hit your spawn command. Um, copy this, and all you need to do from that point is go into Starbound. Uh, and spawn it in. You gotta be, uh, you gotta have admin privileges just to show you how to do that. You know, just go into single player uh, slash admin. Uh, that's really it. Um, and then you can just do whatever. Um, all right. So now we just spawned this in, right? So as of now, it's nothing more than a draw. But to turn into an item is, you know, the whole other process. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and spawn in. Um, it doesn't really matter, I guess, uh, but I just gener generally tend to go with simple, you know, iron revolver. Since this is a pistol, we're going to be going with a pre-generated pistol already in the game. Let's just get that. Um, now this works a lot better if you already have a drawable that you could work off of, because uh, the process becomes kind of weird. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to use this as reference for a second. Um, but yeah, this works a lot better if you already have, uh, some kind of drill to work around. All right. So you see all this, um, you can do this manually if you want, uh, spaces ca matter, spaces matter, uh, capitalization matters. Um, but what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to hit print a log. Okay. Now. Uh, what that does is I can go into my Starbound folder and go into Storage, and this text document right here, Starbound, I'm just going to open that up in Notepad, go all the way to the bottom, and basically what it does is it copies whatever you know whatever you selected into here. So you're going to want to copy that, right? Um, you know what? Ah, fuck yeah, you just you're just going to want to copy that. Uh, go back into Starbound. And go to the item, uh, the vanilla in-game item, right? And then uh, click this thing to add a new whatever, um, and name it Animation Parts. And remember, uh, capitalization matters, capitalize the P. And then you're going to want to click Minimal JSON and go ahead and paste all that in there. Um, hit Save, Save and Replace. Now... Go back to the drawable that you generated in uh, in the drawables generator. Um, go ahead and hit this. Um, name it animation custom. Uh, oh fuck! I, I messed up. Hold up. Uh, <laughs> I ignore that. Um, you're gonna want to go. Yeah, you're gonna want to go to the drawable you generated in the drawables generator. Go to animation. Hit this to edit. Um, do the same thing. Print a log. Uh, go back into your Starbound log. Go all the way to the bottom and just copy and paste it. Hit the minimal JSON. Uh, hit the minimal JSON on the vanilla in-game item. Go to your uh, create a new thing, call it animation custom. Go ahead and uh, paste the JSON in there. Save, save and replace, and now you've got a working item. Uh, it doesn't have a muzzle flash, I'll fix that real fast. Basically what you want to do uh, just to fix up that. All of that, like, you know, the, the barrel of the gun, the butt of the gun, and the muzzle flash, uh, it's all in animation parts. So 
we're just going to want to edit the line that says muzzle flash, obviously. And I'm just going to check the directory. You go into your unpacked assets and just find it, you know. It's in items, uh, weapons, or items, active, weapons, uh, ranged. And uh, you got your muzzle flash.png. So just take note of this directory and just go back in. Um, all right. So forward slash items, forward slash active weapons ranged uh, muzzle flash dot png. And now you've got yourself. There we go. All right, and now of course you know as you can see the muzzle flash is really offset. So what you're going to want to do then is going to make you want to make a new parameter. Scan it again. Um, go ahead and name this one muzzle offset. From there, um, what you're going to want to do is use these I don't know what, what you fucking call them these square brackets, right? Open bracket. Um, then put in any number like. You could try to eyeball it. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna look in here for a second. So the x is negative 14 and the y is negative 15. So I'm assuming maybe this is gonna be 0 0.5. Well, I'll just start with 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and I'll I'll work it. I'll work on it if need be. <sighs> Again, save and replace, and now you can see the muzzle flash is a lot closer, but it's still not quite there. So I'm gonna scan that again. Um, remember that it goes x comma y, so uh, x is horizontal, y is vertical, so it's a little bit high, so we're going to go ahead and maybe 0 0.3 would work. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much perfect. Um, it's still a little bit too far to the, uh, it's a little bit too close to the character, but, you know, whatever, I'm not really going for perfection right now uh it works you know that's pretty great um so yeah i'm gonna do one more real fast uh let's just spawn in a uh, any kind of sword really stone sword yeah why not we're just gonna spawn this one in um oh and by the way if you do want to like change up what it's called and all that, you know. Uh, since, as you can see right now, it has an unknown name, name and an unknown description. You just add in. Uh, you just literally add in description, and uh, it's important that you need to put it in quotes, otherwise it won't register. Uh, so we're just going to call this Cass's gun or Cass's uh, handgun. Yeah, it works. Um, and then you're going to want to, oh, actually, yeah, and then you're going to want to uh, go short description. This does not need to be in caps. Um, and then you, it's the same thing. Just put it in quotes. Uh, Cass's handgun. And there you go. Um, the short description is the title, like the actual name of the weapon and or the item. And the regular description is the, you know, the regular description. Um, and so what we're going to do here, actually, uh, and it's a good thing to note that what you can do is you can add color. It's just basically the same, same as adding it in uh, the game itself. So I'm just going to hit this, made by... Mow, mow, mow. Reset. Um, and if you want, as you can see uh, right now, if we hover over the item itself, it shows the, the weapon stats. And if we want to change that um, into, and if we want to instead be able to show the description itself, what all you want to do is you, uh, you just add a new parameter, name it uh, tooltip kind. Edit the line uh, in quotes. Um, put base, and that's literally it. Um, it's that easy. No one knows how to do this, but it's just that one thing that will make it so much better. Um, and as you can see now, I'm hovering over it. 
it shows the description rather than the stats of the item. Now we're going to change the rarity just to make it a little, you know, stand out a little more. Um, again, in quotes, just put whatever the rarity you want it to be. It go, I, I believe it goes common is white, rare is blue, uncommon is green. Uh, we're just, legendary is purple and essential is orange. We're just going to go legendary. That's what I do with all of mine, all of my drawables. Um, and that's it. Save and replace. Now you can see it's purple. Yeah, it's just that extra little thing. Um, and that's really it uh, for you know simplicity. Anything more complicated you want to go to, uh, you want to use Star Chief for. Uh, but for now, that's uh, that's all. I'm going to be doing a video right, literally right after this one, talking about how to make swords and shit. So uh, stay here. Yeah.